June 1st, 2019. It is opening day of Muskie, and I am incredibly late to the party. Right around nine o'clock, I got up around four to get ready to go musky fishing, and it was raining, so I went back to bed. And then I woke up, and now it is beautifully sunny out, so there, there's no time, like the present time, to go cast for musky. The question I have for you is drop in the comments, what weather app are you using? i am been using the Weather Network app, and it is terrible. It is never on point at all, which causes mornings like this for the vlog. But we're gonna go cast for musky. I don't have a ton of experience, you know, with musky, so we're just gonna go out, take the big Alexa reels, the Daiwa rods, and we're just going to cast everywhere. If we come across one, it's gonna be amazing. And if we don't, well, we put a good day in on the lake anyway. I'm excited. I got some swim baits to try. Who knows what's gonna happen? We're gonna head to Tri Lakes first. Maybe we'll fish there. Maybe we'll fish balsam. Who knows what we're doing? I've got no real plan. Mark and Sean are at a wedding, so I'm on my own today. Let's get a muskie. Hopefully like a 55 inch, 70 pound muskie. Break the record. Maybe shoot my, my hopes a little high for that one. Let's go. Made it to destination one. We're here at beautiful Emily Park on the Pigeon River. It was the best choice to launch the boat on this stretch. This is where I want to musky fish today. Or for the first half of this, got my coffee, my rods and reels, a couple Lexas, a, couple, a swim bait rod, UV shirt because the sun is crazy. Great big net. So I think we're ready. The only downside to musky fishing, we're either going to get them or we're not. There's not like, oh, you had an okay day. We're either going to catch the musky or we're not going to catch a thing. So I guess the best uh, thing to do is just get this boat in the water and see how it goes. Worst case scenario, we don't catch anything, but we spent a great day on the water. Do a couple hours here and then we'll see where we're at. Hopefully we get some. If Even if we got a couple little ones or one little one, it'd be something. Opening day at Muskie, it's right around noon. I don't even know if noon is the, the time to be starting this, but we're gonna go put some time on the water. Fingers crossed that we get something. See something, hit something, catch something, anything. I'm probably a thousand casts into this. I feel like I'm 10,000 casts in. I never saw a muskie, I never moved a muskie. I talked to these gentlemen right here who are muskie fishing. They've only seen one tiny one. So the struggle's real today. Clouds are rolling in. It's getting a little darker. It's warm out. I'm about four or five hours into this adventure, but I am a cruising for a bruising. This is not over yet. I am not going down without a fight. We are got the boat off the water. It's on the trailer and we're headed to Balsam Lake. I know I always say that I don't like Balsam Lake, but I kind of get the feeling that, you know, it's been pretty good to me the last couple years. So maybe I like Balsam Lake. When we were pike fishing there a couple weeks ago with Chris Tatoska and Sean McCall, we did see some musk, some big, big musky that were in post spawn that we saw just cruising up a creek channel. So. We're going there. We're making a move. You can't 
you know, beat a dead horse and expect to ride it. Let's go to Balsam Lake. Made it to a Balsam Lake. About an hour drive to get here. Maybe a, a little less from P the Pigeon River. Saw fish here last week with McCall and Chris that were like hardcore post spawn when we were just driving around checking new areas because there were so few weeds and reeds up. We thought we would like tour around and see what was there so that when it's bass season, we had like a little edge. Ended up seeing a pile of just ginormous musky on the post spawn. Changing up my flip flops from my casting flops to my launching the boat flops. And we're gonna get this beast back in the water. I'm powered up, had some Rockstar. Arms are feeling a little sore, but let's get this boat in the water and see what happens. Do a little chatting up to 10K zone. Just about forgot my fishing net. Thank God I checked in the back of the truck before I headed to get the boat. Now, I know I've said in tons of vlogs that I don't really like Balsam Lake, but it seems like the more and more time I put into Balsam Lake, the more I kind of like Balsam Lake. So my question for you is, put it in the comments. Do you ever have a lake that you really despise fishing, but then after putting some time into it, you start to appreciate it a little more, you start to like it a little better, you start getting more fish? Drop that in the comments, let me know. And if, for all you guys who've been watching the vlog forever, Sean and I religiously, forget the net musky nets bass nets drop in the comments let me know what you always forget when you go fishing i'm gonna go and tie the boat we're gonna work our way out here now the whole plan for today was to go to the pigeon river where you can normally get a few small musky uh you know 30 35 inch musky and then we we're going to come here and try to get a giant now the river didn't help us even a little bit we never even saw a musky so this all rides on catching a big one Balsam Lake, over the years of my experience, there's, I, I haven't seen a ton of little ones, but there is a, a tremendous amount of big, big muskie in this lake for the size of it. So it's kind of all or nothing. Maybe have three, three and a half hours to fish, but there's also storm warnings, so it may even be cut short. So going through the 10K zone, and hopefully this is it. Hopefully we, you know, if we can't catch one, hopefully I see a giant, giant. Fingers crossed, kids. The old coffee in the coffee cup still warm. It's been a trying day out there. Lost that giant northern pike. Saw a tiger muskie. Got one other hit out in the deep weed. That absolutely could have been anything, but I did not see a muskie all day. It's evening, it's a long drive home. I do not want to be out here for this thunderstorm that's rolling in. And tomorrow we have the silver bass tournament, so I gotta get home and edit this all up. But good day all around. I really enjoyed spending some time on Balsam Lake. I don't know that I like it anymore, again. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't know if the muskie are like hardcore post-spawn or what's going on. I talked to some guys, they got one or two muskie. I talked to other guys I know who are hardcore muskie heads and they didn't see anything. So the struggle is real. But it's time to get home. It's time to get ready for tomorrow because there's no way silver bass fishing is going to be as tough as muskie fishing was today. So, oh, I had a great day. Nothing wrong with making three or 4,000 casts and we're leaving with hot coffee. Home time.
That's the kind of day it's been. Rough go, trying to catch a muskie, but time well spent out on the water. Tomorrow is the Silver Bass Tournament. They're calling for thunderstorms and huge downpour. I just talked to Scotty Walton, and we're still running the event, but if it's pouring rain in the morning, I'm not gonna bring, bring the cameras along just because I don't wanna ruin the, the camera equipment before bass season. So follow along on Instagram at fear under slash fishing. The other question, what weather app are you using? I'm sick and tired of the weather network one because because it always seems to be wrong. So, you know, let me know in the comments below what weather app you're using. The other thing is, I asked a question on Instagram today, is it the muskie a fish of a thousand casts or a fish of 10,000 casts? The answer, fish of 10,000 casts. So I'm right on par. I never made anywhere close to 10,000 casts today. So that's the way it goes. Muskie is an incredibly hard fish to catch. To go out there once or twice a year and just fluke onto a big one is probably not the best way to do it. The guys who really consistently catch musky put a ton of time in and a ton of time into pre-fishing and casting and searching for big musky spots and tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of casts in a year not my jam one of these years i'm gonna get lucky and get a big one and maybe we'll get out again before bass season opens but so much to do the other thing i thought about is since today's June 1st, turkey season is officially closed. I didn't get to go at all in the second half since we saw the bear. So, tag soup again. I need to go out and get my ground blind. Thanks, Dave, for letting me hunt on your property this year. I did have a blast of a time, and I, we did see a lot of turkeys and deer and bears, so it wasn't at all a waste of time. Hopefully this edits up short, because it's just a whole bunch of footage of me casting. Have a great rest of the weekend. If I can't film the Silver Bass Tournament, make sure you jump over to Instagram. I will post it on my story, what is going on. Keep fishing, and we'll see you soon.